Hello friends and welcome to Learn Easy. This is Tushar Gupta here and in this video we will be learning about how to extract 100% marks from your examiner. So I hope you watch the video till the end to get some more tips to extract 100% marks from your examiners. So let's start. So let's begin the video with a motivational quotation said by Lord Krishna. So let's start. Karman neva dhikaraste maafale shukadachana so in this quotation Lord Krishna says to Arjun that hey Arjun you have to focus on your task you have to focus on your work not on the result if you are doing the work with no with no emotion that is like if you are if you are doing some work with no emotion that is you are complete you are fighting the war Lord Krishna said all these things in Mahabharata so Lord Krishna said, Hey Arjun, agar tum is ladai se, is ladai ki haar mein tumhe dukh nahi hoga, aur is ladai ki jeet mein tumhe sukh nahi milega, to ye tumhara badhiya hai, ye tumhare liye achcha hai, kyunki tum karm se, tum kaam kar rahe ho, but tum fal se bandhe nahi gaye ho. To ye tumhare liye sabse badhiya cheez hai, wohi humne utarni hai apni life mein. To hum is video ko shuru karenge apni, Solar tips ki video ye hamari. In these 16 tips, I'd be telling my experience. And if you have some your experience, then you can tell your experience in the comment box down below. So let's start the description. So the very first point, according to me, if you're presenting your examination sheet in front of me, whatever I'd be checking according to is according to your handwriting. So the most important key role is of handwriting. If the teacher sees that the handwriting is very good and the and the teacher, the examiner would definitely think that yes, this ch this student has completed his paper in uh, well in time and this ch this child knew everything. So the teacher would be checking like if there is some mistake, the teacher would ignore. So the same thing you are to use, you are to improve your handwriting. The second thing according according to me is grammar definitely for languages or not even for languages then also you are to improve your grammar fine so improving out your grammar and punctuation skills everywhere is like a boon to your examination sheet you would get free marks for that if your grammar is incorrect like in english if you have written something wrong in if you have written if you want to write this i wanted to have this if and if you are writing i wanted to has this then your sentence would be wrong and your answer would be wrong so you will get zero so improve your grammar then we have the way of presentation if you have a clean sheet clean paper that is if you have written clearly that is in a good handwriting then the examiner would be yes this child knows everything and everything without a single confusion there should be editing in your question uh, in your answer sheets but you should not cut any answer completely you should not even leave some answers even if you do not know the answer you just write some points related to the chapter hopefully you will get marks yes so you need to do these things the next tip that i want to give for mathematics physics and chemistry if i get your mathematics physics or chemistry examination i'd be checking that whether you have written the formulas or not and if you have not written the formulas i'll deduct direct one mark for that and in physics just like we have for ohm's law you are to give the formula and the reason for that why you have written why have you what is the reason behind using the formula then the next tip that i want to give you is if the examination is of social sciences then you are to learn the exact dates just like we have dandi march 12th march starting 1930 year then ending 6th april 1930 so you are to learn exact dates then the next step we move on to the next step prepare from illustrations a scientific study says that yes it states that if a child learns from illustrations that is graphs images and flowcharts child is able to retain that thing for a longer period of time so if you want to save your if you want to save your time and energy for your examination so you must use illustrated books and illustrations like images or google or some videos so that you retain that knowledge and and that retention is for a longer period of time so moving on to the next step i want to say that be logical yes be logical do not write unnecessary things 
if i get your paper and you write something very very irrelevant like you are explaining how is a metal extracted if the question is that how is a metal extracted and you are writing what is a metal what is a mineral it's fine for one line or two lines it's fine but if you are explaining that thing only then i'll give you zero so that is the thing be logical do not write unnecessary things so moving on to the step try to illustrate what do you mean by illustrate illustrate is to me illustrate means to give examples relevant examples relevant figures and data try to illustrate give relevant data according to your subject and yeah, what i mean to say that try to illustrate i want to say that use some figures use some images use some diagrams to express your words in a short time i even know that a diagram needs much more practice and much more time but a diagram is retained by your brain and the diagram would be more impressive for the examiner so you need to extract marks from the examiner not to get marks from examiner you need to extract marks moving on to the next tip express emotions clearly in a story sometimes you write a story you just do not think what you are writing you just keep on writing for the sake yes i have to write i have to write i have to write three pages continuously three pages i have to write to get 10 marks but that is not the thing you need to think you need to clarify your base then you have to move on to the next same as with essays and all these paragraph writings writing skills right moving on to the next step we have highlight or underline the important keywords that is the most important thing if i am a teacher and i get your examination sheet what i would be checking is your handwriting and whether you have underlined the important notes or not underlining everything is like a heck so you underline the keyword so underline the keyword and highlight the keyword use only and only blue pen then moving on to the next step i want to say give relevant examples so giving re- relevant example is very 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 important in civics in economics and in geography in geography it's like giving examples given really relevant examples for rocks and types of rocks and places in economics what do i mean by giving relevant examples is to illustrate the thing the theory that you have written in a practical form and economics is much about life so give your real life examples fine so moving to the next step i want to say good quality diagrams there is one question of diagram in every section which contains something like we have sciences a diagram is very very essential and the diagram should be in a good condition that is the diagram should be well drawn with proper labeling and try to label the things the parts in capitals because capitals attract the teacher not uh, just write in capitals properly you just write in your running running hand and just underline it twice the next step is be clear with the words whatever you want to say say it in the word limit i know that moving in moving according to the word limit is difficult for some people or a majority of you but be clear with the words whatever you want to express express it clearly so uh, there is a example there is an example that i want to quote here that a three page essay three page essay was rejected by our teacher and only one page essay was accepted by her so three page essay should whether it contains or whether it not contains it the three page essay is a boring essay and only one page essay containing everything according to the topic is the best essay a child can write and you are to write everything briefly so that you get maximum marks because the teachers they have to read a lot of papers they are to go through a lot of papers and give marks to a lot of them so be precise be exact and write whatever is required do not write unnecessary things as sir maine pehle bataya the next step is exact term in biology rather than explaining the whole process when not required you just use the term that yes breaking down of glucose is glycolysis so you use glycolysis in place of using such big phrases like breaking down of glucose is known as glycolysis fine the next example the next step that i want to say is the most important tip and that is uh, that need not be told to you you know it already so the tip is pray to god because only god can help you at that time at difficult times so uh, do not always seek help from god in your examination if you are seeking help from god what would happen you will pass your time 
just write whatever you know in all use all these steps that i told and you would get approximately 80 to 85 or 90 percent at least in your examination and you would be able to extract maximum marks that your examiner can give you and always write whatever the answer requires do not write a lot of it just like we we have a teacher in our school so the teacher she checks board examination so she told us that she got an examination sheet that uh, SSTK teacher hai wo. so she got an examination sheet she got examination sheet for history checking class 10th contains history of India as well so Indian history we have and in that we have Dandi March so a student from outside it was board exam so some student had written salt is a very necessary thing and salt is used in Golgappas also so that child if you are seeing this video please comment that yes you are the child and if the child is not seeing then i want to acknowledge you that yes please do not use such things do not get into the words of others that board may read nahi karte teachers sare ka sara board mein sare teachers sara answer ye read karte hain aur sab kuch dekhte hain kai teacher hote hain ki jaldi jaldi mein kar dete hain lekin sare teacher aise nahi hote aur sara ka sara ek round table ban kar head bana hota hai teacher ka sabhi teachers ek ke baad ek एक पेपर को एटलीस्ट पांच बार चेक करते हैं ताकि कोई गलती ना निकल जाए टीचर की या बच्चे की इसीलिए आप दूसरे बच्चों की बातों में ना आए और गाने मत लिख कर आए प्लीज स्टोरी तो दे आर टोटली अनएक्सेप्टेबल इन साइंसेस सो दीज वर दिक्सटीन टेप्स दैट आई वॉन्टेड टू शेयर विद यू फॉर एक्सट्रैक्टिंग मैक्सिम मार्क्स फ्रॉम योर एग्जामिनर एंड इफ यू नो सम मोर टिप्स देन यू कैन प्लीज शेयर देम विद मी इन द कमेंट्स so so that maximum people could be able to extract those marks that they can so thank you for watching this video and please like the video if you like the tips and thank you